in this video, we're going to continue our discussion to lesson number 7, Sequences and Series, Part 2. So the following topics will be discussed in this lesson, sum, summation, notation, series, arithmetic sequence, and geometric sequence. Okay, so let's begin with the definition of summation notation. So the sum of the first n terms of a sequence is represented by summation of a sub i, where i is from 1 to n equals a sub 1 plus a sub 2 plus a sub 3 plus dot 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 plus a sub n. Yung i dito, ito yung index of summation. Yung 1, ito yung lower limit. Tapos yung n, ito naman yung upper limit. Okay? So example, find the sum of some, uh, sigma of 3i three, three or i is from what? 5. Okay. By the way, yung symbol na to, this is a Greek letter uh, sigma, yung uppercase letter ng sigma. Okay? So, let's find the sum. So, una, ang gawin natin, expand natin siya. Okay? Pag sinabing expand, hindi mo, hindi mo na kailangan hanapin yung sum. Okay? Pero pag sinabing sum, ipagpa-plus mo rin siya. Okay? So, try natin. Rewrite lang natin na i equals 1, 5, 3i. So, ang gagawin lang natin, isa-substitute lang natin yung mga value ng i from lower limit up to the upper limit. Okay? So, dito sa uh, expression natin. Okay? So, 3 times 1 plus 3 times 2 plus 3 times 3 plus 3 times 4 plus 3 times 5. So, yun. Doon tayo mag stop sa upper limit niya. Okay? Then, Simplify 3 times 1, 3 plus 6 plus 9 plus 12 plus 15. Now, ito yung sinasabi ko. Pag sinabi na i-expand mo lang yung summation, so ganyan lang yung sagot. Okay? So, naka-series siya. Ang tawag dyan, series. Okay, ngayon, kapag naman sinabi, find the sum, ipagpa-plus mo siya. Okay, so 3 plus 6, plus 9, plus 12, plus 15. Okay, so ano ba yung 3 plus 6? 9, 18, 30, 45, no? So, ito yung sum niya. Okay, next. So, again, find the sum of summation of 1 plus k squared case from 3 to 6. So, as you can see dito sa given summation natin, hindi na siya nag-start sa 1. Okay? So, usually, ang summation nag start sa 1. Pero, may mga given or may mga cases na hindi nag start sa 1 yung ating lower limit. Okay? So, dito, mag-isisimula tayo kay 3. So, 1 plus 3 squared plus 1 plus 4 squared. Nakaparentesis kasi kaya uh, ibig sabihin, yung sakop ng summation natin, yung buong expression na to na nasa loob ng parentesis. Okay? Plus 1 plus 5 squared hanggang 6 plus 6 squared. And then simplify. 1 plus 3 squared, this is 9 plus 1, 10. This is 16 plus 1, 17. 25 plus 1, 26. And then 36 plus 1, 37. So try natin i-add. 10 plus 17. 10 plus 17 plus 26 plus 37. So that is 90. Okay, so next. Okay, now let's discuss the series. So consider we, uh, 
Halimbawa, meron tayong infinite sequence, a sub 1, a sub 2, up to a sub i, and so on. So, this is an infinite sequence. Okay? Meaning, we have an infinite number of terms. Now, the sum of the first n terms of the sequence is called the n partial sum of the sequence. Okay? And is denoted by this symbol. Okay? So, summation of a sub i, i is from 1 to n. So, simula sa 1, sa first term up to n. Okay? So, meaning ng n partial sum, pinag, kun, kinuha natin yung sum or pinag plus natin yung, uh, yung terms galing sa infinite sequence up to n term. Okay? So, hindi natin pinag plus lahat ng terms. Up to n terms lang. Kaya n partial sum. Okay? Now, the summation of all the terms of the infinite sequence is called an infinite series. Okay? So, pag ito, pinag plus plus mo, infinite series na yun. Okay? So, ganun lang kasimple, no? Pag sequence, pinag-uusapan, kama siya, eh. Nakakama. Nakalista lang yung mga terms. Pero pag naka-plus yung mga terms, that is infinite series. Okay? And it's denoted by this. I, as you can see, sa ating upper limit, naka-infinity siya. Okay? Kaya siya infinite series, we have infinite number of terms. Okay? Now, let's find the sum of 3 over, summation of 3 over 10i. 10 raised to i, i is from 1 to infinity. So, una, ang gawin natin, hanapin natin yung third partial sum, and then sum. Ito yung sum na mismo ng lahat. Okay? Oo. Okay, so let's answer first letter A. So, sa so letter A, hinahanap sa atin up to 3 lang. Okay, 10 raised to i. So that is 3 over 10 plus 3 over 10 squared plus 3 over 10 cubed. Or simply 3 over 10 plus 3 over 100 plus 3 over 1000. Okay? E ano ba yung 3 over 10 kapag nasa decimal? 0.3. You 3 over 100, 0 0.03. And then 3 over 1,000, 0 0.003. Kung i-convert natin from fraction to decimal. Okay? And kung ipag-a-add natin yan, madali na lang. No? 0 0.333. So, eto na mismo yung third partial sum. Okay? Now, hanapin naman natin yung sum. So, eto iba na. Uh, infinite na yung ating upper limit. I equals 1 to infinity. Then, 10 raised to I. That is 3 over 10 plus 3 over, tuloy na natin ha, 100, 3 over 1,000, 3 over 10,000, and so on. So, infinite yan. Convert natin sa decimal, that is 0 0.3 plus 0 0.03 plus 0 0.003 plus 0 0.0003 and so on. So, anong napapansin nyo siya? Uh, anong napapansin nyo sa, ano natin sa, sa series natin? Pag pinag-plus natin, magiging 3, 3, 3, 3 and so on. Or simply 0 0.3. Bar. So, repeating yung ating decimal, which is convertible to fraction. Okay? So, sa previous uh, grade level nyo, I think you already know how to convert uh, repeating decimal into fraction. Okay? So, may technique tayo dyan, di ba? Kung ano yung nasa ilalim ng bar, ayun yung number 
kung ilan yung number na nasa ilalim ng bar, ayun yung bilang ng 9 sa ilalim. Tapos, yung nasa loob na yan, yan mismo yung ilalagay natin sa numerator. Okay? So, yun yung technique natin dyan sa pag-convert. And then, so 3 over 9, that will be 1. Okay, so yan yung sum. And as you can see, magkaiba sila. Okay, so third, uh, yung third partial sum and your sum. Next, let's now proceed to arithmetic sequence. Sequence is arithmetic. If the differences between any two consecutive terms are the same, the common difference is usually denoted by T. Bibigay ako example. So, ang sabi sa arithmetic sequence. Halimbawa, meron tayong sequence A sub 1, A sub 2, A sub 3, A sub 4, and so on. Okay, kay arithmetic sequence, we have the common difference, D. When we say common difference, pag kinuha mo yung difference ni A sub 2 minus A sub 1, equal siya kay A sub 3 minus A sub 2, equal din siya kay A sub 4 minus A sub 3. So, pare-pareho yung difference ng two consecutive terms. Okay? And so on. Okay? And that difference is denoted by the common difference. Okay? So, example. We have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and so on. Okay? So, as you can see, we have 4 minus 2. Same lang kay 6 minus 4. Same lang kay 8 minus 6. Okay? 10 minus 8, and so on. So, that common difference, which is 2, okay, same yung difference nila. So, ayan yung common difference. Okay? And then, this is an example of arithmetic sequence. Okay? And also, uh, the symbol for the first term is A sub 1. Ito yung first term. So, D yung symbol natin for the common difference and yung N naman, number of terms. Okay? So, yun. Next. Okay. Find the first four terms of the given arithmetic sequences and identify the common difference. So, hanapin muna natin yung first four terms. Then, after that, Alamin natin kung ano yung common difference. Okay, so let's begin with number 1. So for number 1, substitute lang natin from A sub, uh, yung 1 to 4. From 1 to 4. So A sub 1 equals 4 times 1 plus 3. That is 4 plus 3 or simply 7. A sub 2 is equal to 4 times 2 plus 3. That is 8 plus 3 or 11. A sub 3 equals 4 times 3 plus 3 equals for a 12, 12 plus 3, 15. And then A sub 4 equals 4 times 4 plus 3, 16 plus 3, and that is 19. Okay. So, meaning, ang um, first four, four terms natin ay 7, 11, 15, 19. For the common difference, simple lang sa ganyang given expression, uh, yung formula as you can see. Di ba na, na discuss na natin ito nung nakaraan, yung hinahanap natin yung end term given the sequence. Ang common difference, kapag may common difference, ang technique natin, nilalagay natin siya sa tabi ng n, tapos nag a na lang tayo or nagma-minus ng value ng constant, depende sa first term. So meaning, Kahit hindi natin hanapin yung mga terms na yan, alam na kagad natin na ang common difference ay ito, yung 4. Okay? So, yan yung technique natin last time kapag merong common difference yung sequence. Okay? 
So next, so dito, ano yung common difference? Halimbawa, hindi pa natin sinusulat. Negative 5. Okay, yung tabi ng N. Including the sign. So, try natin. So, kung negative 5, decreasing yung sequence na to. So, try natin. A sub 1 equals 7 minus 5 times 1. 7 minus 5, that is 2. A sub 2 equals 7 minus 5 times 2. That is 7 minus 10, is negative 3. A sub 3, 7 minus 5 times 3. 7 minus 15, that is negative 8. And then A sub 4, 7 minus 5 times 4. 7 minus 20, and that is negative 13. So, ano mapapansin nyo? Decreasing yung ating sequence. Okay? Then, yung common difference kasi natin, negative 5. So, ganun yung nangyayari kapag negative yung common difference, nagiging decreasing ang ating sequence. Okay? So, next. Now, the end term of an arithmetic sequence. The formula to find an n term of the arithmetic sequence is given by a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Where yung a sub n, ito yung n term. a sub 1, ito yung first term. n, yung number of terms. And yung d naman yung common difference. So, ito ginagamit natin kung hinahanap natin yung uh, given term. Yung n term. Na hindi na kailangan i-expand yung arithmetic sequence. So, halimbawa, may sequence tayo. Ha, gusto natin mahanap yung pang- 100 terms or pang 1,000 terms, syempre hindi na natin i-expand yun kasi napakahirap pa i-expand up to 100 or up to 1,000. So, ang gagawin na lang natin, yung formula na to. Okay? So, try natin sa example para ma-apply natin yung concept ng formula. So, find the formula for the n term of the arithmetic sequence whose common difference is 3 and whose first term is 2. So, eto walang binigay na mismong n term. Ang pinapahanap niya, formula ng n term using this formula. Okay? Hindi hindi ito yung ihanapin natin. Ha? Magbibigay tayo ng specific formula for this given example. Okay? I-apply lang natin yung general formula ng n term ng arithmetic sequence. Okay, now, let's proceed to example. Meron tayong common difference na 3. Ayun yung binigay ng given. And meron tayong first term na 2. So, hindi natin alam number of terms. Hindi natin alam what is the n term. Ang kailangan natin ay formula lang. So, apply natin yung general formula ng n term. So, a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Sa substitute lang natin yung given. a sub n equals 2 plus n minus 1 times 3. Distribute natin. That is... Uh, Tuloy natin dito. That is a sub n equals 2 plus 3n minus 3. Tinistribute natin yung 3. Okay? And then, a sub n is equal to 3n minus 1. So, ito na yung formula. Okay? So, kung kailangan na hanapin natin yung, uh, gusto natin hanapin yung 8 term. So, 8 term. So, yun. Sa substitute na lang natin dito. So, a sub 8 equals 3 times 8 minus 1. So, a sub 8 equals 8, 16, 24 minus 1, 23. So, yan yung 8 term. Okay. So, ganun lang siya kasimple. And, ah, ano mapapansin nyo dito sa nabuon natin formula? Naging katulad ng strategy natin na yung common difference, yung common difference na D, nandun sa katabi ng N. And then, Yung constant na ito, ito yung ginawa natin ng paraan para maging makuha natin yung first term. Okay, so 3 times 1, 3 minus 1, 2. Kuha yung first term. Okay. okay. Next. Now, let's find naman yung sum ng finite arithmetic sequence. The formula to find the sum of the finite, take note of the word finite, Okay, meaning meron tayong finite number of terms. So, this is the formula. S sub n equals n over 2 times quantity A sub 1 plus A sub n. Okay. So, 
where S sub n, ito na yung sum ng finite uh, arithmetic sequence, then n, number of terms, A sub 1, first term, A sub n, n term, or yung last term, usually, yung last term. Okay? Then, yung formula na to, pwede pa siyang uh, makabuo ng another formula. Kung, in, kung gagamitin natin yung previous formula ng A sub n, yung A sub n natin is A sub 1, plus n minus 1 times d. Makakabuo pa tayo ng formula dito. Okay? So, minsan kasi hindi given yung a sub n. Ang given ay a sub 1, yung number of terms, tapos yung common difference. Okay? So, kapag ganun, i-expand natin tong a sub n. Gawin natin ganito. Okay? So, substitute natin yung a sub n dito. Magiging n over 2 times a sub 1 plus, substitute natin to A sub 1 plus N minus 1 times D. Okay, ano nangyari? Naging N over 2 times 2 A sub 1, kasi dalawang A sub 1 meron tayo, plus N minus 1 times D. So, ito. Ito naman yung next formula. Uh, an alternative formula kapag hindi given yung a sub n. Okay? So, yun. Pwede ganito kapag given yung a sub n. Ito naman yung gamitin nyo kapag hindi given yung a sub n. Or yung last term. Wala siyang last term. Okay? Now, find the sum. 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 up to 19. So, dito sa given natin, meron tayong first term. Last term, A sub, di natin alam kung anong A sub N yan. So, bilangin na lang natin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10. So, meaning itong A sub 19 ay pang 10 term. Ano yung common difference? 3 minus 1, 2. Okay. And then yung N natin, 10 po nga. Okay. So, actually, ang kailangan lang natin yung n, yung a sub 1, tsaka a sub 10. Pinakita ko na rin yung common difference. Okay. So, ngayon, pwede natin gamitin yung unang formula. Okay. So, s sub 10 equals uh, 10 over 2. a sub 1 is 1 plus a sub 10 is 19. Okay. So, s sub 10 equals 10 over 2 is 5. 1 plus 19 is 20. So, meaning S sub 10 is 100. So, yan. So, yan yung sum kapag kinuha mo yung uh, sum ng 1 plus 3 up to 19. Okay. So, next. Okay. Let's have another example. Find the sum of the integers from 1 to 100. From 1 to n. Integers. Okay? So, 1 to 100, that is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 up to, up to 100. Okay? Or kung gusto natin isulat siya sa summation, that is summation of i, i equals 1 to 100. So, ganun lang. Okay? So, that is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 up to 100. Okay, so yan yung uh, sum ng integers. Now, as you can see, meron tayong common difference dyan. Okay? Common difference natin ay 1. So, meaning arithmetic sequence. Okay, but since sum ang hinahanap natin, ang kailangan lang natin ay first term, which is 1. Last term. Pang 100 term yan. And that is 100. Ang n natin is 100. Pwede na natin i-apply yung formula. So, S sub 100 equals to, uh, equals uh, 100 over 2 and then 1 plus 100. This is 50 times 101 or 50-50 yan. 50-50. So, yan natin. Okay, 50-50. So, yan yung sum from 1 to 100. 
Okay, so imagine niyo pag imamano-mano niyo to napakahirap. Pero using the using the formula for the sum of arithmetic sequence. So kayang-kaya pala. So para naman from 1 to n. So hindi nakagiven. Okay, so kung isusulat natin siya sa sigma that is equals 1 to n. Okay? Sa series that is 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to plus n. Hindi natin alam kung ano yung n na yan. Basta sum of integers from 1 to n. Okay. So, yun. Ganun pa rin. Ang a sub 1 natin, 1. Ang a sub n natin, or yung last term, is n. And ang n natin is yung large n. Okay? So, sa substitute lang natin, s sub n equals n over 2 times 1 plus n. So, yun lang. Yun lang yung formula niya. Formula lang yun na buo natin. Hindi naman nagkasay natin alam ko eh, kung ano yung n na yan. Pag nilagyan mo ng value yan, halimbawa, plusin natin from 1 to 79. Papalitan mo na na 79 yan, makukuha mo na yung sum. Okay? Now, punta, na, punta naman tayo sa geometric sequence. A sequence is geometric if the ratio between any two consecutive terms are the same. The common ratio is usually denoted by R. So, dito naman ang meron tayo common ratio. Meaning, kung meron tayong sequence A sub 1, A sub 2, A sub 3, A sub 4, and so on. Kapag dinivide mo yung two consecutive terms, Halimbawa, a sub 2 divided by a sub 1 equal siya sa a sub 3 divided by a sub 2, a sub 4 divided by a sub 3, and so on. So, eto daw, meron daw common ratio. So, same lang yung magiging quotient niyan, which is R, denoted by R. Okay? So, halimbawa, 2 4, um, 8, 16, and so on. Okay, so pag tinivide natin yan, 4 over 2, same sa 8 over 4. Same yan sa 16 over 8, and so on. Which is, ang common ratio nga na R is 2. Okay? So yun. So yun naman yung sa part ng geometry sequence. So dito sa geometric sequence, uh, idagdag ko na rin kung hahanapin natin yung n term. Okay? A sub n that is a sub 1 and then r raised to n minus 1. So ganyan lang uh, simple. Hanapin yung n term. For a sub n ito yung n term a sub 1 first term common ratio yung r and then number of terms yung n. Okay? So, example, hanapin natin yung 8 tsaka 12 term of the given sequences and identify the common ratio. Okay. So, syempre, hindi natin mahanap yung pang 8 tsaka pang 12 kung hindi natin alam yung common ratio. So, try natin number 1. Hanapin natin, una, so, lista muna natin yung formula. Ito yung formula ng uh, pagkuha ng n term. A sub n equals a sub 1, r raised to n minus 1. So, tignan nyo muna kung ano yung kailangan. Kailangan natin ng a sub 1. So, ano ba yung a sub 1 dito? 3. Kailangan natin ng common ratio, which is r. So, ano yung common ratio? So, pwede nyo itry to bawat isa. Kung may common ratio talaga yung sequence, i-check nyo. Okay? But dito, kung... Kung susubukan natin, 9 divided by 3, 3 ang lalabas. Same dito, 27 over 9, 81 over 27, puro 3 ang lalabas. So, meaning the common ratio is 3. And then, how about n? Depende. Okay? So, una, hanapin natin yun sa 8 term. n equals 8. Okay? So, mahahanap na natin yung 8 term. Okay? So, paghiwalay natin. Same kasi yung a sub 1 tsaka r. And then for n equals 8, we have a sub 8 equals uh, 3. And then 3 raised to 
8 minus 1. So, yeah. 3, 3 raised to 7. Okay. So, ilan yan? 3 times 3 raised to 7. That is 6, 5, 6, 1. 6, 5, 6, 1. So, yun yung A sub 8 natin. So, hanapin naman natin yung A sub 12. So, meaning N equals 12. A sub 12 equals 3, 3 raised to 12 minus 1. This is 3 raised to 3 raised to 11. At 3 times 3 raised to 11. So, our A sub 12 will be 3 times 3 raised to 11. Three times three raised to eleven. That is five three one. Four four one. Okay, so yun yung ating a sub twelve. Next, let's have number two. We have four twenty one hundred five hundred. So dito naman ang a sub one natin is four. Um. R natin, divide natin, 20 divided by 4, 5. Okay? So, yun. Hanapin ulit natin yung 8 term. N equals 8. So, A sub 8 equals 4 times 5 raised to 8 minus 1. 4, 5 raised to 7. So, ang A sub 8 natin will be 4, 5, Place to 7. So that is 3, 1, 2, 500. Okay. So hanapin naman natin yung N equals 12. Or yung 12 term. Okay. So A sub 12 equals 4, 5 raised to 12 minus 1. 4 times 5 raised to 11, a sub 12 equals 4, 5 raised to 11. Okay, ito ang haba ng sagot sa calc, 1, 9, 5, 3, 1, 2, 5, 0, 0. <coughs> okay. Ganun lang siya kasimple. So, ang, ang dali lang hanapin yung enter. Okay, so next... So, hanapin naman natin yung sum ng finite geometric sequence. The formula to find the sum of the finite geometric sequence is given by S sub n equals A sub 1 times quantity 1 minus R raised to n all over 1 minus R. So, dito kailangan lang natin si first term, si R, tsaka si n. So, substitute lang natin sa formula na yan. So, alimbawa, find the sum of this uh, summation. Okay, so... So, para makita nyo, i-convert natin to to series. I equals 1 to 12. 4, 0 0.3 raised to I minus 1. This is 4 times 0 0.3 raised to 0. Nag-start sa 0. Okay, 0 0.3 raised to 1. Up to, so since nag-start sa 0, up to ano? Up to 11, no? Okay, kasi may i minus 1 eh. But, dito sa given natin, ano yung common ratio? Okay, so ano yung mapapansin yung uh, common ratio dito? So, itong constant, okay, so as you can see, constant lang dito siya. So, meaning, uh, hindi na, hindi naman natin siya, kasa, hindi siya kasama dun sa part ng uh, sa part ng common ratio. But, this constant is the first term. Okay, yung 4 na yan. Ito yung first term natin. Okay? And then, itong 0 0.3, ito yung minumultiply natin dito sa first term natin. Okay? So, meaning, ito yung common ratio. Yung 0 0.3. Okay? And then, how about N? So, minultiply natin siya from 1 to 12. So, ang N natin is 12, not 11. Ha? Nagkataon lang na nag-0 nag kasi dahil sa I-1. But, as you can see, 
ang ginawa natin, 12 terms from 1 to 12. Okay, so, yun, makukuha na natin yung sum. S sub 12 equals, A sub 1 natin is 4, then 1 minus 0 0.3 raised to 12 over 1 minus 0 0.3. Okay, so... Yan, pwede nating uh, gamitin na lang yung uh, scientific calculator. So, 1 minus 0 0.3 raised to 12 over 1 minus 0 0.3. So, ang lumabas sa akin is 5.5. Seven one four two eight two six seven seven or kung iraround natin sa two decimal five point seventy one. So yan yung ating sum. Okay, so you can check kung mali yung pagkaka compute para sure. Okay, so next. So, dito naman, hanapin yung sum of infinite geometric sequence provided na yung absolute value ng R must be less than 1. Okay? So, dapat ha, yung absolute value ng R should be less than 1 for this sequence. So, the sum, to, the formula to find the sum of the infinite geometric sequence is S equation. <laughs> Madali lang hanapin yung sum ng infinite. A sub 1 over 1 minus R lang. Mas madali pa siyang hanapin kaysa sa finite. Okay? So, infinite yan na infinite. So, dito, same lang naman yung given. So, meaning, ang A sub 1 natin is 4 pa rin. Ang R natin is 0 0.3. But dito, ang N natin, infinite na. Okay? So, hindi na natin kailangan ng N. But uh, first, ang mahalaga dito kapag kinukuha natin sa mga infinite geometric sequence, tignan natin yung R. Yung absolute value ba ng R ay less than 1. So kapag less than 1, pwede natin gamitin yung formula ng sum. Okay? So S equals, ang A sub 1 natin is 4, 1 minus 0 0.3. Okay, so 4. 4 over 1 minus 0 0.3. That is 40 over 7. Okay, so yan yung lumabas. Or kung gusto, gusto nyo kunin yung approximate niya into 2 decimal, round natin into 2, 2 decimal, 5.71. Okay. So ganun lang kasimple hanapin. So, okay, so yun lang yung coverage ng ating part 2 ng ating lesson number 7.